Ian. I'm dying, man. Did you get that AC fixed yet? Ian! Ian! Are you listening, man? Are you deaf? What are you even doing? Come on. Hey! Ian! Ian, what are you- FUCK! Would you just shut up? We wouldn't be in this situation if it wasn't for you, Lewis. We're risking our asses to pay off your fucking pusher. This shit's all because of you. Get off the junk, man. I can see your brain mounting out your ear. Look, Ian, this is our last job. I promise. It's just... Iowa Wilson big. That's the thing. You owe him. A lot. And you remember what he does when he doesn't get what he wants. Ian, I... Oh, that's right. You're too fucked up to remember anything. He will kill us, Lewis. He will come right into this house and stab us right in our fucking hearts when we least expect it. And if we don't pull this off, we're dead. And I'm pretty sure you know this. The boot was gonna crush us eventually. I said I would pay them back. I told you that. Yeah, that would work. Except we're fucking broke. Cause you blow all of our money on this shit. Wilson's shit, no less. I stay away from these kinds of people for a reason, Lewis. Now this is your fault. Don't act like you've never done this kind of thing before. I've stolen from people who are scared, confused, panicked, and alone. I've never robbed an entire store before. If we're gonna do this, you gotta be ready. Tonight. Up at 10 a.m., huh? Still alive, though, I see. Yeah, barely. You got somewhere to be? <laughs> yeah, back in bed. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna be out pretty late tonight. Yeah, this week's schedule is looking to be... kind of rough. That means you'll have the house to yourself. Just don't make yourself part of my job tonight, got it? Alright, Dad. <laughs> what I wouldn't give to be 19 again. Tell me, Dad. You ever get tired of classic rock? <laughs> Smart ass. Alright, I'd better head out. I'll see you either tonight or tomorrow, depending on your busy schedule. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Love you, son. Love you too, Dad. Thanks for breakfast. doing anything today. Yeah, yeah, just let me shower and stuff. Focus right here, right here. All right, sounds good. I'll meet you in an hour. Bye. Remember. We have five minutes to do this job. Five minutes. In and out. You got that? No. Yeah. Are you even listening? Lewis, in the next five minutes, 
We could make it out and solve all of our problems. Or in the next five minutes, we could be dead. Or worse, we could make it out with nothing. Ian, we've got this. I've done this a hundred times before. And besides, they won't know what hit them. Hey, hey, you're not loading that thing. We're not shooting anyone, remember? But what have they drawn us? Like, don't they always keep like a, a shotgun behind the counter or something? That's why we gotta be quick. If you shoot someone, we're going to jail. For life. Both of us. And your guy has connections. And he's gonna wanna tie up any loose ends if something goes down. There's a million ways we could fuck this up. All right, I get it. So, not to ruin this lovely atmosphere you've just said, but what if they do have a gun, Ian? Then run. Run faster than you've ever ran before. But don't shoot anyone unless you absolutely have to. All right? All right. I'm not gonna die because of you. And I don't want you to die either. We could do this. We're gonna do this. You ready? As I'll ever be. Standing in a puddle of my piss. God. And I was just like, uh, yeah, sure, Jackson. What, whatever gets you out of here sooner, bro. Oh man, that's so fucked. So, what do you want to do when we get home? Um, well, fuck if I know. But I gotta finish these burritos. You want one? Nah, I'm good. You sure, man? Yeah. Alright, you know, probably a good idea. Talk about giving me the shits for a week. Aaron, spare me the details, please. Man, so what's up with you? You share that story with me, but that's the most we've talked all day. Come on, man. I don't know. I just got a lot on my mind, I guess. It's just, it just kind of hit me. I'm done with my first year in college. I still don't know what I want to do. I'm still undecided on my major. It's like I'm in a cage, and I'm free enough to know that I'm in one, but not free enough to leave. Does that make sense? Man, don't you ever say that whack ass hippie shit. Well, I'm eating my burrito. Again. <laughs> Not happening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're right, Aaron. I mean, I flung Philosophy 101 anyways. <laughs> Man, you must have flunked hard. So, why don't you call Adrian and see if she wants to hang out? You think that's a good idea? Well, I mean, why not? It's been like a year. <sighs> yeah, since senior prom. And that's a night I want to forget. Well, how are you supposed to get over it if you don't call her? You're right, Aaron. But you're calling her because I'm driving. All right, I'll call her. But I'm not getting out of the car, man. I am not getting wrapped up in a 20-minute awkward conversation with her mom. Just, just call her and tell her on her way. Greg, they're getting 
fuck! Ow. Shit! He, he had a gun. You saw it. Yeah, but I still have to call it in. Shit. Hey, look at me, man. Just look at me. Keep your eyes open. Yeah. I'm scared. I'm gonna die. Hey, don't say that, man. You're not gonna die. Okay, just stay awake. Fault, man. Just hang in there, okay? We're gonna make it through this. Shit, shit, shit! Don't give up, Lewis. You're gonna feel real stupid with all this whining you're doing. Lewis. Lewis! Lewis! Sorry to hear that. You sprayed in there, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, you can go check it out, but... <laughs> nah, I don't got a hazmat suit ready. <laughs> hey, well, at least you had a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Just be more careful when you're eating next time. So what time did you say your dad's gonna be home? Uh, no, I don't know. He says he's got a late night tonight, so it probably won't be for a few more hours now. You think your dad's gonna like having us all over here so late? Uh, it shouldn't be a problem. He's probably just gonna go straight to bed. Yeah, but get this. What if Greg thinks you two are dating again? Uh... First off, Aaron, it's still really weird that you call my dad Greg. And secondly, let's just let the past be past. Yeah. Anyways, we should, uh, change the subject. So... Oh! <laughs> uh, speak of the devil. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Ellis. What are you doing? Uh, just hanging out. Uh, you gonna be home anytime soon? I think it's gonna be a while before we can jump home, pal. What? What? What happened? Is everything okay? I'm, uh, I'm in a bit of trouble right now. We were chasing down these two guys who robbed a convenience store. One of them pulled a weapon and, uh, I... I, uh... 
I shot him. Well. Are you okay? I'm fine, yeah. Did the guy die? Did you... Did you kill him? We're, uh... We're not sure. They drove off before we could catch up. Well, what's happening right now? Are, are you gonna be home? Well, it's, like I said, it'll probably be a while before I can come home. Special <laughs> girl is here. They've got a million questions for me. It's, it's an entire process, you know? They're ready for you now. I have to go now, okay? See you as soon as I can. Bye, Dad. Alright. Bye. Well? What'd he do? He shot a guy. Your dad shot a guy. What did I just say, Aaron? Like, shot him dead? They don't know. Holy shit. It'll be fine, Ellis. I mean, your dad'll be okay. This kind of stuff must happen all the time. Yeah, one guy probably deserved it anyway, dude. You the carpenter? That's what they call me. I was wondering why it wasn't Lewis who called. I didn't want to get involved with this. Neither did I. And I wouldn't be doing this if Lewis and I didn't go way back. I'm sorry you had to see him like this. I always knew he'd end up like this. Figured it was only a matter of time. I tried to talk him out of it. It looked like he was turning around. You know, last night was supposed to be our last job. By the looks of things, it doesn't seem to be that way anymore. He was in too deep. He might want to turn away. People tend to get squeamish.
You're in with Wilson's gang, aren't you? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm assuming that's the reason for all this? Lewis owed him a lot. How do you know him? I've done some jobs for him in the past. The big question is, why would he just trash the place? He doesn't usually screw around like that. If you owe him, you're dead. We were gone all night. You want to know my guess? This was a message. What? Well, all of this is a warning. The only reason that you're still alive is because you happen to be gone at just the right time. So unless you want your friend to go out in pieces, I suggest helping me with the heavy lifting. Grab the feet. You know, I don't tend to get too personal with clients, but I don't think you're safe here anymore. Wilson's gonna find you. Is there anything you can do to help? You want my advice? You've got a gun in there, so you should use it. He's gonna bring a small army when he comes back. What are you gonna do with the body? I've got a guy at the dump. It's real nasty stuff, but it'll get the job done. Well, it was a pleasure working with you. I just wish it could have been under a different circumstance. Wait. Before you go, could you do me one more favor? Find me the address of the officer who did this. I'll be in touch. I finally finished their interviews with witnesses from last night. How was that good news? It's been confirmed that the suspect was carrying a deadly weapon. He was putting others at risk. Your use of deadly force was justified. Oh, thank God. It's clear, Greg. I guess that puts an end to this whole ordeal, doesn't it? For you? Yes. But currently we have a team out searching for any traces of the suspects. But I think it goes without saying, you've been parted from the investigation. Good. Good. <laughs> Speaking of poor deals, you look like hell. I should go soak in the shower for a few days. I'd love to, but I've got another shift this evening. I figured I may as well get a couple more hours of shut-eye before I have to head out. Well, if you insist, see you around, Greg. Yeah, see you, Roberts. Hey, Greg. Hey, Megan. Hello? Hey, Ellis. Just wanted to let you know that um, I won't be home for another day. The time's kind of gotten away from me. What about the, uh, are you all cleared? Are you all right? Yeah, uh, everything seems to have sorted itself out without a problem. Great. Uh, I guess that means you won't be home tonight then, though. No, no, I got another late shift tonight, but after that, I'll be home for the whole weekend. You're still in bed, aren't you? 
What else would I be doing? <laughs> I should have guessed. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. See you later. Bye. It's been a whole day. We thought you could use some company, you know, until everything gets back to normal. No need. Dad's been cleared, so he should be home tomorrow. Cool. Well, I'm helping myself in the fridge. I'm hungry. You guys didn't have to do this. Aaron insisted. Besides, how are we ever gonna, you know, get better, like you said, if we just keep avoiding stuff like. Hey, 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 hey. Keep it down on our return to TV on or something so I don't have to suffer through this awkward conversation. Come inside. Gotta say, it's a surprise to have you back so soon, Greg. Yeah, I got lucky, I guess. You do yourself a favor. Leave the dirty work to the professionals next time. <laughs> Honestly, after all that's happened, I could use a nice, quiet night out on the job. Let's hope, huh? Yeah. Now, give me a second. I should probably call my son. You again? Yeah, 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 listen. I just realized that the garbage comes around tomorrow and I forgot to take the can out. So if you could do that for me, I'll be out of your hair for the rest of the night. All right? All right. This is the last favor I ever do for you. <laughs> Thanks, Ellis. All right, bye. Hey Alice, where do you keep your remote? Should be around here somewhere. Now, Adrian? I'm telling the truth, you guys. There was a guy right back there. What did you see? 
Some tall guy in black. He was right behind the window, and then he just ran off. <laughs> yeah, you're high. That sounds like something out of a horror movie, Adrian. I swear to God, you guys, I'm telling the truth. There was a guy uh. right there. TV and just numb our minds of this delusion situation and just get on with our lives, okay? Then I'm making popcorn. Oh my gosh. Oh, are you kidding me? Shh, just, just calm down. It's fine. This happened last week. Just give it an hour. Power will come back on. Oh, we should be so lucky. We'll be fine, Aaron. No. Enough. I'm telling you guys, there's something out there. And I'm telling you that him and I would believe you if you hadn't been making this up! Why the fuck would I make something like this up? Okay! Okay. If you're so passionate about this, why don't you go outside and prove us wrong? Yes, please, prove us. You know, as much as I'd like to embarrass the two of you, it's not worth dying for. You know, as much as you'd like to think you can embarrass him or I, it is actually you that's going to be embarrassed when this is all said and done. Listen, Adrian, I'm telling you, there's nothing out there. Why don't you take a bat and go see for yourself? Yeah, go see for yourself. Fine, fine. But FYI, neither of you are invited to my funeral. Whatever you say, Captain. Adrian's just being ridiculous. Yeah. You know, when I said that I wanted her and I to be friends again, her sneaking around my front yard with a baseball bat wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Yeah. <laughs> She's just being paranoid. That's an understatement. Sure. Speaking of which, I mean, she sure is taking her sweet time out there, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Maybe the boogeyman did get her. <laughs> yeah. Well, did you see anything? No. <laughs> well, I hate to say it, but I told you so. Yeah, whatever. Fuck you. I should be getting home. It's getting really late. My parents are going to get worried. What? You're not going home because you're still scared, right? Of course not. I had a lovely time listening to your smart-ass remarks there. <laughs> Listen, Adrian. I'm... I'm really sorry about all this. It's... it's just silly. I know. Maybe we could try this again some other time. Yeah. See you, Mom. Bye. Bye. Well, there goes my ride. I guess you're stuck with me for the night. Lucky me. So are we going to do anything? Or are we just going to sit here? Well, you can come upstairs with me and help me find a flashlight. Well, if that makes you happy.
Dude, your closet's a mess! Did you find anything yet? No, but by the time I do, the power should be... Did you hear that? Somebody? Well, what else are we gonna do? <sighs> okay. <sighs> Shit. We can't. He took it with him to work. What do you mean he took it with him to work? He's a cop. What do you think? Shit. Um, call the police. The power's out. Cell phones. I don't have mine. It's downstairs. Mine's in the kitchen. Shit. Shit. What are you, crazy? Do you want to make it through the night? There's no way I'm letting you go. Dude, we have no weapons. We have no power. That phone is the only way we're getting out of this. I'll be careful. <sighs> be careful. Just be careful. I don't understand.
understand what you're saying. Here, let me. Don't yell. Fuck you, you fucking piece of shit! My dad's a cop. And when he gets you, he's... You think he's gonna protect you? Your father took something from me, so I'm gonna take something from him! When he sees what I'm gonna do with you... You bitch! What did I do to deserve this? nothing to do with us! What did you do? What did I do to deserve this? It's supposed to be one last job. Just one more job. We weren't gonna hurt anyone. I would have been out years ago if it wasn't for Lewis. But he's dead now. Your father killed him. Right in front of me. Now he's probably sitting there in some fucking air conditioned office. Just laughing about the whole thing with a bunch of fat fucking pricks. Probably patting him on the back like he's some grand fucking hero. You think you're gonna get away with this? They'll find you, they'll kill you. Hey, Wilson, there's this car right there! Let's get him! Yeah! Search the place! Alright! He's gotta be here somewhere!